Hey guys, it's Chris. Okay, in this video, I want to focus on my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> and I say this for a few reasons, but it's my favorite thing in the world, and it's called outsourcing. And, you know, there's a lot of ways to do it. Um, when I told you in previous videos, I've taken a lot of programs, a lot of courses, uh, really hold myself up for a good six months of education. Um, and learned everything I could and continue to every day and that's of course why I built this site because even last night before I started making these videos I saw a program from one of my marketing friends who is promoting something uh, for being a social media manager something didn't exist he told me six to eight months ago didn't even exist now you'll actually see it post it so you know he's gonna send me the information I'm gonna get the course I'm gonna look through it I'm gonna see how valuable it could be and if I do feel it's valuable I will put it up on the website so if you do see it up here um, by the time you're looking at this video it means I've looked at it and approved it and felt that it was you know a valuable resource for us and again um, you know any other questions about it you could uh, always call me um, excuse me you could always email me at flipping websites on video at gmail.com so Anyway, that aside, outsourcing. I use something called Odesk. And um, Odesk is just, to me, you know, people tout, you know, magic stories, you know, that their lives change from it, and people tout horror stories. You know, I tend to always think that there's somewhere in the middle there's a balance. And, you know, basically that's what I found. I have found it extremely invaluable. I really have. But, um, you know, you, 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 it's not going to just, you know, change your life. And it's also not going to be, uh, you know, the worst thing that ever happened, that you're just going to be wasting money. The point is, is how do you spend this money? And that's what these courses before you start outsourcing is we're going to teach you, you know, what are you actually, you know, telling these people to do? So who are these people? Well, many of them actually, um, you're outsourcing to places like Bangladesh, the Philippines, you know, in the Southeast Asia, China, all over, you know, all over the world. And these are people willing to work from $1.50 an hour to, you know, sometimes 20, 30, 40, depending on where they are and what their experience is. But, you know, just because you hire for someone for $1.50, um, it doesn't mean, number one, that, uh, that they're going to be a good worker or a bad worker. You know, I've hired people for a dollar fifty an hour that were the, my best workers, and I've hired some that were basically worth a dollar fifty an hour. Now, you know, the thing is, people always ask me, "Well, don't you feel bad? I mean, how could you pay somebody two dollars an hour, a dollar fifty an hour? How could you pay them, you know, three dollars an hour?" And you know, I don't have a problem with it, and I'll tell you why. Because here's what I do: as my business built, you know, I'm start, I'm able then to start giving, you know, 50 cent raises, dollar raises, dollar 50 raises, two dollar raises, you know, because look, when I started my internet company, I certainly could not hire people for the wages that, you know, we would, uh, you know, pay in this country. I would never get my business off the ground. And, you know, with things like, uh, I don't know, all the things that go with it, you know, with hiring someone in this country, it's, it's it, you know, it could be really expensive. So my point is, is that I reward, and that reward, though, to them means a lot. You know, in some countries, three dollars an hour is like making forty-five, fifty grand a year. You know, but now imagine you have a business and you're able to pay them seven, eight, nine, ten, eventually eleven, twelve, whatever, to fourteen dollars. You know, some people now I'm paying more in that range because you know I'm able to do it. But guess what? Does that mean for them? I mean, you're changing their lives. So it feels really good to me. You know, I haven't done it yet. You know, I have a few marketing friends who have talked about it with me that they go down and visit. Uh, the people that work for them, I really can't wait to do it. Um, I do need to book it out and, and just take that time because I know it could be a very special experience. You know, and now you're going, you're really changing and impacting someone's life. And I got to tell you, that feels really good. So anyway, um, one of the other programs that I want to tell you about uh, in another video, I will, um, well, we'll talk about that after. I tend to, I don't want to get sidetracked on this uh, Odesk. So basically you go to odesk.com, uh, you know, you, you fill out, a application you get in there you verify your credit card they're gonna take a couple amounts out of there you know four dollars one dollar and they're gonna make you go to your bank account see what the amounts they took out um, you know you'll verify that'll verify your credit card and then that means when you hire somebody they'll know that they're able to take money out so what happens is you get employees um, I'll tell you about that in a minute but you go through and after a week of work you have about four days to dispute any work that they have 
Um, what's beautiful and really great about Odesk is here's what's great. So now you go on, you search for employees, you obviously look for the skills you're looking for, which again, at this moment, I'm not expecting you to know, but let's say it was, you know, I wanna make a link wheel, okay, which is one of the things you'd be doing. Um, then you look for someone who does that and they're an expert and they say we can do it you can hire them by the hour you can hire them by the project what's really nice and this is why I really like Odesk and if I do find someone that's not a good worker I can weed them out pretty quick um, Odesk actually takes screenshots um, every 10 minutes or so again it's staggered so no one would actually know how to time it but about every 10 minutes they take a screenshot of the person that's working for you screen so what's nice is I go in, I see someone's working for me, and there's a little green, there's a little green dot, what's next to them shows they're working. I go in there and I just quickly, you know, look on their work diary and I just see, you know, how, much, how many screenshots are up, uh, what was the level activity. Um, it also shows you a bar of like how much activity is actually going on in that moment. So you get a pretty good idea of who's doing work and who's slacking off. Also, of course, the screenshots themselves, you could read them. You could see, you know, I, I asked them to do this or that, and, you know, you could see what's being written on there. So it's, again, I, I would not have a business if it wasn't for outsourcing. I wouldn't have a business if it wasn't for Niche, two, uh, niche Blueprint 2.0, um, if it wasn't for coaching, uh, and if it wasn't for outsourcing. You know, th those, those three things right there, if you want an internet business, are really the main keys. Again, from my experience. You know, and if these aren't, the, if this is not the way you want to get into business, then, then that's fine as well. I'm just letting you know. To for me, I felt that I saved an immense amount of time uh, by by having those few tools in my toolbox. So anyway, outsourcing. Please, um, you know, email me at uh, flippingwebsitesonvideo at gmail .com. Ask me more questions about it. You know, basically, you just have to feel people out. And, you know, like in the real world, you know, people will overpromise and under-deliver. Under people will seem like they're not really even paying attention to what you're asking them. And then the next day, they come out with, you know, these incredible reports and do amazing work. And, you know, you have to try people out. And you're going to find losers. And you're going to find gems. And that's the bottom line with outsourcing. You know, and the thing is that you build a team. And, you know, the larger my team gets, then obviously the more it frees me up to do what I want. You know, where I can look at more of these opportunities for us, you know, on this website and bring this information back, um, you know, where I can try some of the things I enjoy. I mean, I love to cell phone advertise. It's my favorite thing in the world. Um, you know, it's one of the courses I put underneath these videos, too. Again, it's not for everybody, but it is fun. You know, I, I, I get these banner ads and you put them up on the iPhones and people can click on the banner ad and it calls the company directly. I mean, it's the... It's just so fun. I don't know. You find the right offer. And for some reason, you know, that's like how I spend my free time. <laughs> so I put that on there because I found it an extremely valuable course. It's not for everyone and it's not for every business. You know, if you have an internet business, it doesn't mean you have to be advertising mobily. But it'd probably be a good idea to have that course if you have the money and you're willing to, you know, invest in a full, um, what, what, what do I want to say here, you know, you know, in a full way of looking at a business, all the aspects of that business of advertising and all the different ways you can do it. But can you have an extremely successful business without cell phone advertising? Absolutely. So anyway, I'm going to leave you for now. Um, I'm going to have more videos soon. I hope you enjoy this. And um, please let me know if you have any questions. I'll talk to you soon.